Hi, and welcome to Let's Talk. This is Shirley. Um, I was still giving this testimony about my granddaughter. She had been missing by for a month, month and a half or so. And, you know, her father normally comes by to come by and pick her up. And, you know, we don't mind. But sometimes he want to keep her for a week or so. You know, it'll be okay. But this time, he got a little bit picky. And he would not call her back. He wouldn't call us back. He wouldn't let us talk to her. You know, and time passing by. And I was getting a little worried. But I thank God I kept on with my faith. I kept on praying and talking to the Lord and talking to peoples and stuff like that. I said, my baby got to come home. I haven't talked to her. I haven't seen her. Whew. Glory to God. But she's at home. It's all about your faith. Keep your faith in God. Keep your faith always. You always got to stand and fight for what you want within life. I haven't made it this far on my own. I made it this far because of the Lord. And I thank God because I'm a leader. And you know, I couldn't show my reaction in front of my daughter and anybody that I was really worried some after so many weeks went by. He wouldn't call or respond. We had to go by the job with polices and all that. But it's a few things you need to know before you let your children go. The absent parent can spend time with them, can show their love, and know how to bring their children back home because so much stuff is happening nowadays with people. The absent parent coming by and then, you know, they don't want to take it back to the parent. They'd rather kill them. Let them get raped, sexual abuse, and all that stuff over there. And sometimes the stuff even happens with the parents. I'm like this here. If you know that that child is really getting on your nerves or something like this, yeah, it's a lot of people around you every day. Every day. You run across people all the time. It's somebody, everybody wants children. Everybody loves children. I love children. Any child that comes to my house, they're going to be fed and everything. And they, I guarantee you, they stay one day with me, they ain't going to want to leave. But factor of citizens here. I'm glad my granddaughter's home. Just know where they stay. The absent parent stays. Go to the house. Make sure that is the house because they could just be pointing at a house. Go in and if they have a significant other or a spouse or whatever, introduce yourself. Know who's watching your children. Know what some about. Know where the mom stay. Know where the sister stay. Know where some more of the relatives stay. Get some license plate number. Because, you know, that was just a heck of a thing for me to go through. I really couldn't talk, so that's why I typed out a whole lot of this stuff. Um, but I couldn't really just type out everything that I wanted to type out. But just know a little bit more than what you know where the absent parent is. You know, life is just too short, baby. You know, you love your children, and Lord knows I love my kids and my grandkids. I would give myself any day for my kids, my grandkids, and anybody else's children that I can help. I would do my best. Just know a little bit more information than what you know, because we didn't know too much besides his job. And we did do the police and everything, but thank God, favor, friend ours, well, not a cousin of ours, he knew somebody, and they called him, and they gave him a little 24-hour notice. To bring our baby home. And she's home. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. But anyway, this Saturday, we're going to do a celebration for her birthday. She's going to be four years old. We're going to be in Dusan Park. All our friends and family are more than welcome. We're going to go out there early on that day so we can find us a table. And we all going to have a good time. Everybody bring something so we can all have a good time. We're just going to be blessing and just thanking the Lord for our children and family and friends. And everyone be blessed. That's the last stop. Be blessed. Shirley Morris. Bye.